hi everybody, it's Peter from the Education Department at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, here for you with another edition of Zoo from Home. And today we're learning about bongos. So I brought with me my freaky beatnik friend Penelope to play the bongos for us. But it turns out bongos are not just a drum. What? Yeah, they're also an animal. Far out. Yeah, so it turns out I'm not going to need you at all today. Oh, man. Bummer. Bongos are an animal called an antelope, and they're one of the biggest antelopes that lives in the forests. A lot of you probably don't even have any idea what a bongo looks like. Do they look like this, Peter? Yeah, actually they do look like this. Sweet. They're really big and they have stripes across their body. In fact, they're so big, they get up to 10 feet long and wouldn't even fit inside of this space here. And like all antelopes, they have horns, but bongo's horns are special because they have a spiral shape. So they're really easy to identify. Like this, Peter? Yeah, just like that. Bongos are a really skittish animal. They get scared easily, and they're mostly awake in the nighttime. Do you know what it's called when an animal is only awake in the nighttime? If you said nocturnal, give yourself a pat on the back. That's right, good job. Bongos' horns are different than the antlers you might see on deer or moose or elk. Antlers are branched. They don't just have one point. Like this, Peter? Yeah, just like that. I want everyone to make deer antler with your hands, just like this. They're branched and deer's antlers fall off every single year. They have to grow brand new antlers. And on deer and a lot of animals, there's only antlers on the male, but horns just have one point. Everyone make horns like an antelope. Horns stay on the animal for its entire life. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna say horns, antler, deer, or elk. And your job is gonna be to show me if it's horns, where there's one point, antlers, where there's lots of points, Deer, where it's antlers and lots of point, or antelope, where it's just one point. I'll say the word, you show me what it has. Let's start with antelope. All right, deer, horns, antlers, antelope, horns, antlers, deer, antlers, bongo. Good job. If you got all those right, you can give yourself a big pat on the back. Let's talk about the habitat where you would find a bongo. I'm going to put up some pictures of different habitats behind me, and I want you to say out loud the letter of where you think you would find a bongo. If you said letter B, you can give yourself a drum roll. Yeah, bongos are found in the forests. Did you know there's forests in Africa? A lot of people think that Africa is mostly deserts and savanna, but Africa has both tropical forests, rainforests, and dry forests. And it's really important that we protect those forests. In some parts, places where the bongos live, some parts of their range, there's still a lot of bongo and they're doing better than other antelope species. But in other parts of their range, there's actually a subspecies of bongo that is critically endangered and lives in just one part of Kenya. So it's up to you kids, the next generation, if you care about animals like bongo, we wanna make sure we're doing everything we can to help save the rainforests around the world. Today's game is gonna be about animals like the bongo that have stripes. 
The bongo stripes help it camouflage in that rainforest habitat. All these stripes make it blend in with the sunlight that gets through the tops of the trees. Other animals have stripes to confuse their predators, or they might have stripes for making them get bit less often by flies. I'm gonna show you some pictures of animals with stripes. Your job is gonna be to guess which animal has those stripes. Here is a picture of our first animal. What animal do you think that is? If you said bongo, you got it right. Give yourself a drum roll. When did you get there? All right, next animal. If you said zebra, give yourself another drum roll. Good job. All right, next animal. This is a tricky one. If you said fish, give yourself a drum roll. This is actually an emperor angelfish. It's the kind of fish that lives in tropical reefs, okay? Our next animal, if you said tiger, give yourself a drum roll. Good job. Tigers live in both the rainforest habitat, but they also live in a little bit more open spaces and different species of tiger have different patterns of their stripes. In fact, you can tell tigers apart by looking at the pattern on their stripes. All right, next animal. If you said garter snake, you got that one right, good job. A garter snake is an animal that you could probably find outside in your yard or in your garden. They're great to have around because they'll actually eat some of the grubs off of your tomatoes. All right, next animal. If you said human being, you got that one right. Give yourself a drum roll. That is a close-up of a fingerprint. One of the places where people have stripes on their body. Our fingerprints help us with gripping and grabbing. Next animal. If you said chipmunk, give yourself a drum roll. Good job. This one is the hardest one. You're going to get a super big drum roll if you get this one right. right. If you said Ardwolf. Give yourself a drum roll. That's enough, Penelope. You said extra long. I, I did. If you've never heard of an Ardwolf, it's a really cool animal. You should go look it up later. All right, last animal up on the board. If you said lizard, give yourself one final drum roll or pat on the back. Good job, everyone. I hope you had a lot of fun with me today. I hope you learned a whole bunch about bongos, and I hope you tune in again. We'll be back on Monday for another edition of Zoo From Home. Be sure to share your learning journey with us using hashtag ThisIsHowWeZoo. Thanks a lot. Have a great night. Bye, everyone.